All right, so we're gonna go through some lateral raises, front raises, upright rows, bicep curls, and overhead tricep extensions using some household items. So these are just five pound plates that I'll use to demonstrate, but we can also use stuff like, you know, if you have a water jug, this one's a three gallon, but it's not fully filled up. You could use, you know, one gallons, uh, you could use like laundry detergent. Uh, here's like a coin jar that will work. You can even use a book in certain instances, especially if it's like a bigger book and you hold it on the edge because you have that, that torque creation from um, that distance, that lever arm. So let's just jump into it with these first. So we'll do some lateral raises. So keep those shoulders square, up tight rib cage down a little bit and then root your your feet into the ground and you're going to pull with your elbows so imagine there's like a string uh, tied to your elbow and you just come up do them nice and controlled so we'll get a few reps of those in and then the same thing with front raises so you just do them in the front rather than on the side. You don't have to do them, if you only have like one thing, you can do them one at a time. So like with the book, for instance, come up here, then the lateral ones, and then we switch, you know. front so then if we do something like heavier with this or like a laundry detergent or whatever same thing you want to keep your core tight especially if you're going just one one arm because you're gonna have that imbalance so core tight rib cage down glutes tight externally rotating your feet like corkscrews this one's kind of heavy so there's the front. So you got those. And then we're gonna go into some upright rows. So these ones, same thing. Keep your core tight. You can bend over just a little bit and then come up, bend down, upright. So you should feel it in your delts, in your traps a little bit. And then really squeeze at the top, come down controlled. Squeeze, full extension, full squeeze. So then what that looks like with something like this, if you're just doing one. I know I'm not as uh, good as Jay, but you know, Everyone needs a backup dancer. So there's some upright rows. You can even do those with the book too. So, so really just any household item. We got these, the coins. So upright rows. Do those front raises with these. And then now some bicep curls. So, same thing, always want to be rooted in the ground, keeping the glutes tight, rib cage down, and then come up, maybe like, so you don't need to come up all the way, maybe like three-fourths, and then really squeeze, you can also squeeze them titties together, if you want a little extra contraction, so, do them with these. Doing one arm, so if you use laundry detergent or a water jug. So it's all about body weight and, and these household items. We're just gonna focus a lot on control. And then if you come down, you wanna squeeze that tricep too. So you get that full range of motion. Whew. 
squeeze, squeeze. And then overhead tricep extension. So for something like these, you can do them one arm. So really squeezing that tricep. You can do them like this on the side, or you can do them more reverse. So you also kind of want to keep those lats spread out. And then really just extend, come down slow and control. And a little bit quicker on the way up. So maybe a tempo of like three seconds down, slight pause, one second up. So if you're doing that with something like this, you can grab it here, hold it together. Okay, so there's those. So next we're gonna move into planks. So a lot of people do planks kind of like this, where they're, they're kind of down. That's not what we want. We want to keep that, that rib cage down, contract your abs, fill your belly with air. Get it in there and come down. Keep these up and externally rotate your hands so you're engaging your lats and then just breathe lightly but don't lose that intra-abdominal pressure you want to keep your glutes tight too and your quads tight everything should be tight you can even flex your, your biceps a little try to pull the ground apart same with the side planks so come up here on your arm you can do them on your hand or on your, your forearm. So if we're doing them forearm, oh shit, I'm slipping. So I want to keep that, these obliques tight. Also glutes are tight, square, torso, keeping that intra-abdominal pressure. So then we can also do these plank pull throughs. So we can use something like a book or one of these plates or like something coins. So not nothing too heavy, but essentially get up in like a push up position, keeping those glutes tight core tight, you bring the bring the book in, put it here, come back. So you're really trying to keep those hips square the whole time. So do those for a few times. So next we're going to do some push-ups. So when we're doing push-ups, you kind of keep those same principles as the planks, where your core is really tight and you're externally rotating. So you can grip, grip the ground, so you grab it with your hand and you externally rotate. So you see how my lats getting engaged? Tricep becomes activated, rear delt. So you do that with both sides, grip the ground, core tight, and then you retract your scapula. So here's protraction, retraction, and you come down. Glutes are tight, everything's tight, always keeping that intra-abdominal pressure. So when we're doing these, um, you can think of it as like a big spiral of energy coming up. So when you go down, spiraling up. Coming down, spiraling up. You should feel it in your chest, your triceps, your back. 
it's a, it's a full body workout. It's not just a titty workout. So next we're gonna go and do some squats. And you're keeping the same principle as the push-ups, but with your feet. Gripping into the ground and externally rotating. So you find a good stance, maybe slightly wider than shoulder width. And then you're whoosh, keeping those glutes tight, rib cage down, abs tight. And then you're bending at the hip hinge. So you can think of it as like, if this is coming up like this, when you externally rotate, you're gonna activate your hip. So you're externally rotating, you're pulling that towel, that mat apart, coming down. So next we're going to do some reverse lunges. So same thing, keeping that glutes in, rib cage down, come back, explode back up. You can do them single side or you can do them reverse. So we go one, two, And then when you come up, so you're down, glutes are engaged, come up, squeeze that quad, make sure that's getting engaged, and then come back down. Then you're using your, your opposite hamstring, this glute, come back up. And get some single leg hip thrusts. So, come up. This leg up, one leg back, and then get those lats kind of tucked in, giving you a nice solid base. And coming up, you should feel it in the glutes and the hamstrings. So you should really tighten it. It's kind of like you're bucking with one leg, for lack of a better example. So. Use these, kind of externally rotate your hands, give you a good solid base. Next, we're gonna balance on one leg, keeping the opposite leg at a 90 degree angle. So same thing as the squats, where we were externally rotating, keeping those hips tight. You're trying to mimic that, but with one leg. So get up nice and tight. My glutes should be really engaged, hamstring engaged. Your whole leg should just be this tension ball. So you come up, keeping that externally rotated. Your feet are like tripods. You got one point of contact on the ball of the foot, one point of contact where the pinky's at, pinky toe, and one point of contact at the heel. So you create that, that tripod and then externally rotate. Core, extra tight, glutes are tight, rib cage is down, and you're just focusing on keeping that, that solid base and slightly externally rotating. So next we got some flutter kicks. So you get down on your butt, Make like a U with your hands, or two L's. Tuck those in under your butt. Kind of support yourself back. Air full in the belly. Rib cage down. Legs straight. Toes up. You're gonna flutter. It's like a lower ab hip flexor exercise. So you can also do these horizontal. Or you can switch them. So one, one, one. Core tight. For these hamstring curls, probably want to be on like a wood surface. Put some socks on so you can get some sliding. So these 
we're going to go just to pull through your your hamstrings and your glutes so it's kind of like those hip thrusts we're using two legs so you come down come up squeeze always air in the belly core tight use your hands externally rotate use your lats as a nice shelf to sit on you should really feel those in your in your hamstrings and even a little bit in your upper calves because when you're pulling this is going to be that initiator muscle that kind of starts the movement so let me know if you have any questions Jay, Jay will be able to answer more of the kind of technique aspects, but uh, give those a shot.